Equilibrium 1. Reactions which proceed only in one direction are called irreversible reactions. That is, they are unidirectional. For example, neutralization of HCl with NaOH. Aqueous HCl plus aqueous NaOH gives NaCl plus H2O liquid. 2. Reactions which proceed in both directions are called reversible reactions. For example, H2 gas plus L2 gas gives 2HI gas. 3. In a reversible reaction, a stage is reached where the two opposite reactions will be taking place simultaneously with equal speed. Such a state in a reversible reaction is called a state of equilibrium. 4. When the reactants in a closed vessel at a particular temperature react to give products, the concentration of reactants keep on decreasing, while those of products keep on increasing for some time, after which there is no change in concentrations of either of the reactants or products. This stage of the system is called dynamic equilibrium and the rate of forward and reverse reaction become equal. 5. Equilibrium can be established for both physical processes and chemical reactions. 6. Equilibrium in physical processes the phase transformation processes are most familiar physical processes. They are solid equilibrium with liquid, liquid in equilibrium with gas, solid in equilibrium with gas. Now, let us discuss solid liquid equilibrium. For example, when ice and water kept in a perfectly insulated thermoflask, at 273 Kelvin and the atmospheric pressure, we observe there is no change of mass of ice and water as the rate of transfer of molecules from ice into water and of reverse transfer from water into ice are equal. Therefore, at atmospheric pressure, the temperature at which the solid and liquid phases are at equilibrium is called the normal melting point or normal freezing point. Now let us discuss liquid vapor equilibrium. For example, take a transparent box carrying a U-tube with mercury, that is, manometer. Drying agent Anhydrous calcium chloride is placed for a few hours in the box. Then remove drying agent and place a watch glass containing water. Now we observe that the mercury level in right limb of manometer slowly increase and finally attains a constant value. This we can explain as, as water evaporated the pressure in the box increased due to addition of water molecules into the gaseous phase inside the box. The rate of evaporation is constant. However, the rate of increase in pressure decreases due to condensation of vapor into water. Finally, leads to equilibrium condition where rate of evaporation is equal to rate of condensation and hence level of mercury in manometer remains constant. At equilibrium, the pressure exerted by water molecules at a given temperature remains constant and is called equilibrium vapor pressure of water. Vapor pressure increases with temperature and it depends on nature of liquid and the liquid which has higher vapor pressure is more volatile and has lower boiling point. Water and water vapor 
are in equilibrium position at atmospheric pressure 1.013 bar and at 100 degrees Celsius in a closed vessel. For any pure liquid at atmospheric pressure, the temperature at which the liquid and vapor are at equilibrium is called boiling point of the liquid. Hence, boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Boiling point depends on external pressure. As external pressure increases, boiling point also increases. At high altitude, the boiling point decreases due to decrease in external pressure.